Okay, so first of all, I need to get an idea of how how just how this generator is gonna run in general. This whole this whole engine. How this engine is gonna run in general. So I will need to know temperatures of everything. So let's start putting down dials and connecting things. So this will be fuel rod temperature. I don't know what the max value is, so I'll just say 500. Then I guess I probably want to know like boiler temp and I'll put another dial on for boiler pressure. Could probably get another dial for the boiler, what do you call it? Boiler, 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 boiler or water level because no doubt that that is going to disappear as soon as it turns into steam. Fluid volume, probably a better thing to call it. And then I think I should also check, can I check? Hmm, I can check the condensers, I guess. Temperature and volume. Is that all I need? I think it's set to go, right? Yeah, like it's just gonna start running automatically. So yeah, I've just let it heat up and see if any of these dials go nuts. And I guess I'll need to let it run for a while, probably. There's that one pump. There's these two pumps in here I can't hear. I think it's this one pump that's pumping out the steam. It's so loud. I might convert it over to an impeller because the pressure should be able to push it through the system and into the pistons to start them moving and then they should be able to spin the impeller even faster to make the process better. Did the rods go in? They don't look like they've gone in. They've not gone in. Hmm, it was, it was working last time I used it. Because it was a pulse, yeah, because it was a pulse and I turned infinite electricity on after the pulse had started. So yeah, now we just sit and wait. Oh no, I've just noticed my canvas is a wacky size. I don't know if I can change this while I'm recording. I can't. One moment. It was really quick. It's already moving the pistons, so... Your rod temp 122 and it's still going up, so I don't know where that's going to stop. Boiler temp. I don't know where that's gonna stop and so the condensers is something we really need to keep an eye on they're all at about 50 so that's not the worst thing because they're only using those heat sinks and they have to be using some kind of non in the water cooling system because it can drive on land so what's interesting though is that the the volume of water in the boiler is pretty high and the temp is very stable actually and the fuel rods going down in temperature huh is this just like magically working first try without any tuning I'm guessing because my water level is going down wait it's not going down 136 it's going up. I don't know, it looks like the boiler temperature and the fuel rod temperature have sort of stabilized. I think they're still going down. No, they're going back up. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's good. I think it works. That was way too easy though. Infinite electricity was also on, so I better connect. I guess I'll be using big batteries, but I better connect a battery of some kind to everything that's involved in this pumps that track that pump that's actually it that's kind of mental so now i'm just going to get rid of the little hats little wedges come up and over the rail i just need to get them connected to the generators to see if they're even working so this one i'll probably do like modular so either i use a small clutch and a one by one flywheel so i need some flywheels connected to all the pistons and I think I'm going to have three different sets. Or I go up to the bigger ones, the 3X, which looks a bit nicer, really, on the large generators. So each generator would have 400 mass. And then the gearboxes. No, the wrong way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do, 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 do. So I'm, I'm sharing steam, but I'm getting three separate outputs of electricity. This is possibly going to end badly. 
Because, like, what if one set of pistons is consuming more steam so it's running faster? Then that would be causing one of these generators to be running at a higher RPS. Hopefully all three generators have a similar output, and if they don't, I can probably just connect the pipes through the ground here so that they're all part of the same system and then still make it look like they're connected to three individual generators up here. Oops. They can still do something like this. I might put some sort of XML pipe so I can run a huge pipe directly back into this and then I'll put some kind of shroud over top of this. These all look pretty similar. Uh, do they? Yeah, they do, right? Yeah, they're all pretty similar. That's really good. Oh man, that output is just gone down so much. And the pressure is halved. It's coming back up though. I wonder if I need more water perhaps? Yeah, more water probably. Condenser volume. So do I just have heaps of steam in here? Seven liters of steam? And 56 liters of water, I guess. But where is the steam? Is it all stuck in here? Steam in, steam out. Seems like it's coming in quite slow. These condenser temps are spiking. They were a bit more stable before. Did I change those gearboxes? I think I did, didn't I? Three to one, yeah. And all these clutches should be on, so the flywheels are on, so the generators are working. Let's try adding more water. Put this big tank on the bottom of fresh water. Right, so I gave the boiler access to a whole bunch of water and now it's totally filled up with water. So we've got steam and water. I wonder if that pressurizes the steam inside the boiler even more. I think I just need more boiler pressure, you know? Which means I need to make it hotter. So the temperature is only 110. And that's in this thing where I made this just 1200. I wonder if I need to make it like 1600. A boiler temp. Boiler temp. Boiler temp. Boiler temp. And changing that number didn't really increase the boiler temp or the pressure too much which results in not really increasing the generator performance too much either they're also fluctuating so much they should not be doing that the flywheels should be flywheeling doing what flywheels do and stabilizing that output a whole bunch i would try adding more flywheels and then I'll also try cranking this number up to 2400. So that's double. If I can just get the boiler pressure up to two, because I don't know if it goes higher than 2.5 still. If I can get up to two or 2.5 without you know, anything blowing up. I want to decorate this room. So if I can get this working, then I can start decorating. Okay, so pressure is now 0.08. Output is 3,000, but it's like 3,000 across three different generators, so it's more like 9,000, maybe? Pressure is still going up. Oh, pressure's starting to climb very quickly. I wonder if the temperature's actually just running away now. This may be too hot. Except the pressure should stop at 2.5, and we've definitely got no more water in here. Hmm but I guess it won't blow up. So do I need more water just to like make it happy? And should I, I'll try. So if we've got like 3,700, so each generator is doing 3,700. I reckon if I get rid of, let's get rid of them. I'll get rid of two of them. So I've only got one generator and one flywheel. And then, so this spot here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a sneaky sneak. <laughs> okay, so now they're all connected to just the middle generator. 
if I can spin that middle generator up past, like, it'll be like 12,000 or something, then just having one is probably better, and then having three other things, maybe like batteries hidden inside shrouds that look like a generator unit or something. Okay, that's basically max pressure. The output is super wild though, like, it should be stabilized a whole bunch more than that. And we've got no more water in the boiler. Which means... Oh, this tank here must be empty. No, this still has water, so that means the boiler's capacity is just all steam. It's just all steam. And the steam has nowhere to go. Yeah, it's dumping like 300 litres of steam into here at once. So that's good, but that would mean that the condensers they're not taking much steam in. They are too hot. They are too hot. So how can I make condensers cooler? They are relatively close to the reactor, so they're gonna get hot. It's likely that heat sinks are just not enough. I don't really want to do radiators. Radiators would work, but they're ugly. So we were basically getting all the way up to 80 degrees on the condenser temperature. Hopefully with radiators it can stay a lot cooler. And if it doesn't, I don't know, I might have to put more radiators in somewhere. I might have to put in a, I might need a heat exchanger and then send that off to some really big cooling banks of radiators. I think having one generator also is fine because it was over 10,000 and with three of them we were doing like three and a half so that kind of makes sense and I could add more flywheels if I want to smooth that out oh look at that condenser team it's still spiking up real high yeah I don't think that's gonna work otherwise we just end up running the condensers really hot all the time doo -doo 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 do 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 <laughs> no one's made like any agility courses for stormworks yet Someone should turn it into a platforming game. You fall down and you fall into lava. Put it over the top of a volcano. I think it's, it'd be way better to just have one condenser with a really fast, really high flow rate. Even if a... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like those, that condenser, the three condensers I had, the impellers were only doing four RPS, which is way too slow. Okay, you know what I've done? I put three radiators directly under the pistons, back in the hot area. But I've tried to get rid of as many pipes as possible. Oh, that's not good. Hold on. Uh -huh. All right, so now it's just like impellers directly on the condenser, directly on the radiators. The reason I want to use impellers over pumps is because if pumps fail for any reason impellers still allow the fluids to be pushed around so if it's just relying on the pressure alone it's still going to work if it was using electric pumps as soon as there's no electricity the whole system just is like a bunch of valves and everything just closes and stops not that you would run it without the pumps i guess but it would mean you might be able to produce some power if you needed to limp back to the dock or something it's better than having nothing basically i've uh, reduced the operating temperature or whatever that value was try and bring the boiler temp down so we won't get as much pressure but it'll mean the condensers won't have to work as hard people have also been talking about cooling the steam as it comes out so i could put a the small fluid to air heat exchanger on this and then maybe even just let it breathe the air inside of this room. I don't know if that's super helpful, but it's like, yeah, it's because it's right next to the radiator, or the, it's right next to the reactor, it's probably not a good idea. Man, that sound is the impellers, they really spin up. 300 litres in and out. 300 litres a second. We're doing about 2 litres a second of water back out, and the steam coming in is spiking at about a hundred. 
So it's a lot less and having it spread out across three seems to be a better idea. I might have to maybe push these things all the way to the back so that they're really far away from the reactor. The final output's only 5,000 and I think that's probably because of the pressure. I spent way too long fumbling around with this. I think it's it's basically in a state where it'll work. I just might have to move the condensers and the radiators further away from the reactor. Like maybe spin them around the other way and push them all the way to the back of the boat. I'll try and figure it out before I record next so that it's working and I can just focus on decorating or building some other room. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.